this is, I guess, the first smartphone that I have with three cameras on the rear. Yeah, I said three. And of course, it has one camera on the front. So if you wanna check the special camera review video, this is it. We're gonna be checking out the photo samples in low light, uh, in uh, normal lighting conditions and the video quality. A lot of you were saying, you know, three cameras, 12 plus 20 plus 40 megapixels. It sounds awesome, but let's see how awesome it is. The interface is pretty easy to use. You get a bunch of advanced options on the interface. Regarding the photo quality from the rear cameras, uh, I'd say they are pretty good overall for travel, for family usage. They are one of the best cameras on the smartphone, but in details, they're not always the best. The advantage is that you can use the optical uh, zoom two times because you have two or three cameras. And uh, photos have nice details. They have better details than on P20 model. They have a bit better dynamic range, but this is not the best dynamic range. iPhone 10 and Galaxy S9 have better dynamic range than uh, Huawei. In low light, if you place your smartphone and hold it steadily, you'll get very little noise and photos will be very nice in low light condition. Video from the rear camera is very well stabilized. The picture is clean, even in low light, but the exposition is not that good as on Galaxy S9 or iPhone 10. Uh, it's just the same as on regular P20 model. So if you move the camera, the video will not be uh, that good. Uh, the objects on the camera, they are moving. You know, the exposition is too slow and they'll be blurry. Also, it takes a little bit longer time to uh, save the photo. So if you're gonna be shooting photos in low light, you have to hold your camera steadily and it's a minus compared to the Galaxy S9 and iPhone 10. Front camera has 24 megapixels and 26 millimeters angle in 35 millimeters range, which means a solidly wide angle. It's pretty similar to the camera on P20, on the regular P20 model. It lacks sharpness and details and uh, photos reduced uh, to two megapixels, as you see them right now on the YouTube video. They look pretty good, but on details, they're not that good. In low light conditions, selfies are not on the top level. Details on the, on the image are overexposed and there is a lot of noise and they lack sharpness. Video from the front camera can be recorded in full HD resolution. The picture is well stabilized. It doesn't shake that much, but it looks as the photos. It's, you know, it's okay, but the background on video selfies is burned, it's overexposed, which tells us that it doesn't have an awesome dynamic range. In low light, video looks good, but again, there aren't many details and uh, it's just usable. In the end, I have to say that a uh, camera on P20 Pro on the rear are pretty good. They're above the average. They're comparable to the best cameras on smartphones these days, but front camera is definitely not among the best. It's above the average, but it's not the best camera I've seen on uh, regarding front cameras on smartphones. Thank you guys for watching. If you have uh, this phone, I'd love to see your comments below. Bye.